Hello, welcome to another video. Um, I'm still obviously in cast and shooting from the driveway and tonight I figured I'd just do a video whilst I try and shoot. It's supposed to be clear for a couple hours and I'm going to try shooting the Heart and Soul Nebula uh, because I have just got the L Extreme filter that I got delivered the other day so I'm desperate to give it out a try so yeah I'll talk through the gear quickly. It's the Skywatcher 72ED. I'm on the Skywatcher Star Adventure GTI mount. Um, I've got my Sony a7 III that's full spectrum modded on the back with the um, L Extreme filter. I've got a Flow uh, First Light Optics Astro Essentials 50mm guide scope and then the ZWO, I think it's 120mm guide camera. I think that's all the gear. But yeah, so I've, I've just set up, I'll take you through my workflow on, um, oh the ASI Air as well Mini. I'll take you through the workflow, polar aligning and all that and I'm just taking the first test shot now so we'll see how it looks. As we jump into uh, the ASI at first, it will pick up my camera, my tracker. Um, I just check that the, uh, the settings are correct. That it's, it's picked up the guide scope correctly. It picked up my Sony a7 III correctly. Next thing I'll do is just turn tracking on, make sure that it is on. I will then just go and check the main camera. And um, I, I changed the ISO here, but I also hit the expose with shutter release cable on and off. And I find that that then actually lets it control the camera. They, they don't play too well with Sony. It's been okay, uh, but it's a new added feature. Um, right, test shot first, just taking a 10 second test shot. And then wait for that to come across from the ASI. And then I'll check what the focus looks like. So as it loads up, I just find a bright star because I've got the L Extreme filter in and, and I'll go and check the focus. So the focus is okay, but it's just slightly off. I've got a bat enough mask on. So what I'll do is I'll just change the focus ever so slightly. I'll take another 10 second test shot. And yeah, that looks okay to me. So I'm gonna take the bat enough mask off now. Next thing to do then is polar align. And I've found that it can be really difficult to polar align using um, filters in there because it's a narrowband filter so it's not picking up too much light. If you go to the about section of the settings and turn on the um, new plate solve, I found it does a much better job and, uh, and it is able to actually plate solve and do the uh, polar alignment. So it takes a pick, you just point the, the, um, the scope north, it takes a pick, it then plate solves, it then rotates the uh, right ascension axis over to, I don't know, 60 degrees, something like that. It then takes another pick and plates off from there. It will then tell you how far you are away from being well polar aligned. And then you just spend the time changing um, the position using the um, the little knobs on the, um, on the, on the mount and you're going up and down left or right until it's happy that you're uh, decently well polar aligned. This can take absolute forever. Because I'm new to it, I find that it's easier. I, I was much quicker polar aligned in the old manual way, but I'll get more used to this, I'm sure. It's good not having to kneel down and look through the scope anymore. So you just keep playing with it until it's happy, and then you can move on. This has taken me up to 20 minutes, some nights. I'm sure I'll get faster with it in time. Next then you can move back to the preview screen. And then what I'll do is I'll click on the bottom left and select the sky view function. I think it's called sky view. And this will show you um, where you're pointed in the sky, but also your framing, which is fantastic. So I can just use this to select where I want my target to be. So I'll, I'll then zoom in, I'll find uh, Cassiopeia, I'll find the heart and soul. And then as I zoom in on it, I'll be able to see what my rotation is like. So I can see that my camera's rotation is off here to be able to fit them both in. First thing I'll do is click go to and get the mount slew over to the target. Then once it's got it, I'll click on the framing and it will tell you how much you need to rotate your camera. So this is saying clockwise and 69 degrees. So I'll basically just loosen the screws and rotate the whole camera. Then you take another test shot to see what your frame is like. It is just absolutely fantastic function. 
I'm loving this little thing. So that is close enough for me, I'm happy with that. Next thing to do then is turn on the guiding. So you literally just tap the buttons. Um, you, can, you can get it to um, use the configuration from a previous session or do a new session each time. And I've got it set to um, save from previous configuration. So once that starts guiding, we can just go back to preview and get the first test shot. 300 seconds, I usually go for five minutes. Just while it's doing that, I'll show you my guide settings. Um, and I got these from a, a YouTube video. Um, it has improved my, um, my guiding accuracy by changing the calibration settings there. I've also got dithering turned on. And I'll just wait for that first test shot to come in. And I'll check that I'm happy enough with the framing. There we go. So the next thing I'll do is go to the auto run tab and then set up how many shots I want by hitting the three little buttons, that little button there and selecting exposure time 300 and repeat 30 times. And then just set it going, that's it. And then just watch the images come in, it's great. But yeah, there we go. Now I've got it, oh God, mind the thumb. Now I've got it all set up outside. What I normally do is then go and switch it onto the iPad. I've got an old iPad, so you can't do the sky view on it. it hasn't got enough RAM apparently. But normally I'll switch over to the iPad when I come back in so I can see the photos better as they come through. Right, so that was a couple of nights ago now and I ended up having a mare. So quite a lot of the um, pictures were trailing and I couldn't figure it out because my guiding was looking quite good. But in the end, it turned out that I hadn't uh, balanced the um, telescope on the tracker properly. So I, I went through the whole process of, um, I, I leveled the tripod again, I uh, balanced it on both sides, I re aligned. And so after I've messed about doing all of that, I'd wasted quite a lot of time, so I didn't really get much exposure time on Heart and Soul. So the picture actually looks quite shit. Um, I then tried to shoot it again last night, but it's too low on the horizon, which is probably why the, the images look the image looks quite shit, because it's so low, there's so much light still um, coming up from the sun. I, I couldn't even get the mount to slew to it last night, it was too low on the horizon, so I ended up having to shoot North America last night. I got just over two hours on that, and that looks a lot better. Um, I'm a lot, a lot happier with that one. Um, but yeah, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, that's my workflow. If you've got any questions on, um, on any of it, just drop a comment down below and I'll answer it for you. So if you made this far, thanks very much for watching and I'll hopefully see you again soon. Take care.